That's for the next video, actually. Yeah, Legend of Zelda's cool, but we're not gonna be covering it today. 9.6437. 9 9.6437. 9.6437. Go to the park, BT2. Join the Blood Moon Organization. If you want to see a Leviathan, go to 288T. Take the cartridge with you too. Look, fail, won't fail me now. What? Uh oh, there's the Leviathan skeleton. Hmm. Strange. How did 9.6437 know that I'd find a Leviathan skeleton here? Hmm. Seriously, what does 9.6437 mean? And seriously, what does 9.6437 even mean? How many times do I have to ask this? What is going on? Time to do some searching. Yes, I am 9.6437. And you've done well for the wait a second. What the? 9.6437? Where'd you go? 9.6437? All right. I have collected all three messages that 9.6437 has given me. The evidence all also lays deep inside of the code in this cartridge. Let's get started. This is it. The review that I have been really hoping to make. Nine point sixty four three seven. What are you doing here? Okay. I guess we should do this. Let's go into one of my favorite games ever. Well, overall, the graphics look much better compared to the N64 version. Also, not to mention that the layout of Clock Town is a bit different compared to the original. Okay, if you say so. I also came prepared because, after all, I have all 24 masks and also most of the items. Also, a really cool addition to Majora's Mask 3D is that you can go fishing too, just like in Ocarina of Time. And you'll be faced with a pretty intense battle but eventually I'm sure you'll catch one. Five centimeters. Pretty small actually. Bye bye little buddy. Exactly Trevor. You can get these fishing hole passes from completing side quests that you've already finished. And there's also fishing holes in the swamp and ocean. I currently have 10. I spent my 11th one, but still, it's pretty cool how you can go fishing in this game. Wait, really? 
Wait, I got your notes. And well, guess 9.6437 is gone. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone.